In Surah 4, verse 82 of the Quran, Allah says, Do they not consider the Quran with care? Had it been from other than Allah, they would surely have found therein much discrepancy. There are several problems with this verse. First, it says that if the Quran had been from someone other than Allah, we would have found much discrepancy in it. So if a book is written by anyone other than Allah, it will be filled with discrepancies. But this is just silly. I can write a math book right now that says 1 plus 1 equals 2, 2 plus 2 equals 4. Such a book will contain no discrepancies, no errors, no contradictions. According to the Quran, that will make my math book the word of Allah, since any book not written by Allah contains much discrepancy, and a simple math book will contain no discrepancy. Second, why would we have to find much discrepancy in a book to know that it's not from Allah? Why not some discrepancy or little discrepancy? It's as if the Quran is saying, you may find a few errors and contradictions in the Quran, but you know it's the word of Allah because you don't find much discrepancy. Third, we do find much discrepancy in the Quran. Even if we ignore the numerous scientific errors and historical errors, we still find a number of difficulties in a book that supposedly has a single perfect author. How long did it take Allah to create the universe? According to Surah 7 verse 54, it took six days. According to Surah 41 verses 9 to 12, it took eight days. What did Allah create first, the heavens or the earth? According to Surah 2 verse 29, the earth was created first, then the heavens. According to Surah 79 verses 27 to 30, the heavens were created first, then the earth. Who was the first Muslim? Surah 6 verse 14 says that Muhammad was the first Muslim. Surah 7 verse 143 says that Moses was the first Muslim. And yet the Quran also declares that Adam and Abraham were Muslims. The Quran tells us in Surah 10 verse 47 that Allah has sent a messenger to every nation. The Quran tells us in Surah 2 verses 125 to 129 that Abraham and Ishmael came to Arabia where they built the Kaaba. And yet Surah 28 verse 46 claims that Muhammad was the first messenger to come to the Arabs. According to Surah 4 verse 48, committing shirk is unforgivable. Later, in the same surah, verse 153, Allah forgives people for committing shirk. Surah 16, verse 103, tells us that the Quran is written in pure Arabic, and yet there are many foreign words in the Quran. Surah 2, verse 62, says that Jews and Christians don't need to fear because we will be accepted by Allah. Surah 3, verse 85, says that the only religion accepted by Allah is Islam. What is man created from? Surah 19 verse 67 says that man was created from nothing. Surah 96 verse 2 says that man was created from a clot of blood. Surah 21 verse 30 says that man was created from water. Surah 16 verse 4 says that man was created from a small seed. Surah 15 verse 26 says that man was created from clay and mud. Surah 3 verse 59 says that man was created from dust. Surah 11 verse 61 says that man was created from earth. Will intercession be possible on the day of judgment? According to Surah 20, verse 109, Surah 34, verse 23, and Surah 43, verse 86, yes. According to Surah 2, verse 123, Surah 6, verse 51, and Surah 82, verse 19, no. What happened to Pharaoh when he was chasing the Israelites? Surah 10, verse 92 says that Allah saved him. Surah 17, verse 103 says that he drowned. And of course, we have many abrogated verses in the Quran, verses that were revealed to Muhammad, but were later canceled by other verses. Surah 2 verse 256 says that there is no compulsion in religion. Surah 9 verse 29 says, fight those who do not believe in Allah. According to Surah 4 verse 43, Muslims are allowed to drink alcohol as long as they don't show up for prayer drunk. According to Surah 5 verse 90, Muslims aren't allowed to drink alcohol. Surah 4 verse 15 tells us that the penalty for sexual sin is house arrest. Surah 24 verse 2 tells us that the penalty for sexual sin is 100 lashes. We could go on and on with examples of the Quran saying one thing in one place and saying something very different in another place. But think about this for a moment. Muslims believe that the Quran is a perfect tablet in heaven. On that perfect tablet in heaven are the following three claims. One, the penalty for sexual sin is house arrest. Two, the penalty for sexual sin is 100 lashes. And three, there is no discrepancy in the Quran. Do you see the problem? The Quran, as it supposedly exists eternally in heaven, 
is internally incoherent. And a book that's internally incoherent shouldn't be claiming to be so obviously free from discrepancy that it can only be the word of God.